What's up, y'all? It's your boy Panfred Noodle. Oh, wait a minute. I've got something on my face, don't I? Give me one second. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's your boy Panfred Noodle with yet another YouTube review for another awesome Lego set for the Between the Bricks YouTube channel. Thanks to Lego for sending this really, really awesome set, the Razor Crest Microfighter, on over for review for Between the Bricks. And so let's go ahead and dive in to this really awesome set. Let's take a look. This set's lone minifigure is, of course, Din Djarin from The Mandalorian. Now, this particular version of Din is from Season 2. Um, you can see that he has a full set of Beskar armor that he receives from the armorer at the end of season one so we do have the really awesome shiny detail printed on the torso on the legs uh, and especially the really cool detail printed on the arms of our minifigure you can even see the mudhorn signet on his right shoulder bell which is really really cool now, the other signifier that this is season two is his jetpack. So rather than the black cape that we typically see Din Djarin with in other Mandalorian sets, he does come with a jetpack similar to the Trouble on Tatooine set. So we do love that for Din. Uh, the helmet is a lighter shade of silver, as if it was um, brand new and it looks shiny like the rest of his Beskar armor and of course he does uh, come equipped with his trusty blaster because uh, you can't leave home without that blaster so really awesome minifig here the included play feature with our microfighter razor crest is the new stud shooters that are included there are two stud shooters a kind of, in this case, a sideways stud shooter. But the first time I particularly saw this stud shooter was included with the um, the Penguin in the Batman Batmobile. So um, I do like this particular trigger. It's really nice in that it's not easy to set off if you do intend to keep the stud in the actual shooter. And I feel like these stud shooters shoot surprisingly pretty far. It's really, really awesome. Uh, the set does have uh, some landing gear. It's, it's very minimal, but it's still really cool. The console is a printed piece, so it's always nice to not have to put stickers onto a set, but these microfighters typically don't have uh, any stickers that are included and have to be applied uh, as it is a minimal amount of pieces. What's nice about this particular Razor Crest is it does include some room to keep Din Djarin's jetpack on his back. So in, uh, in, you know, in order to put many figures into the cockpits of their ship, it's, it's, always, it's always a pain to have to take off a, a cape or a jetpack or something that is included on their back. But what's nice about this set is there is enough room to keep the jetpack on Din Djarin's back when he is hanging out in the cockpit of the ship. Another really cool feature is the docking bay on the back of the ship. It does have the ability to open and close that. There isn't a whole lot of detail in the back of the ship when you do do that, but it is really nice. Uh, lastly, the engines are a fairly decent size in proportion to the rest of the ship, we do get those trans orange studs on the back to signify that the engines are running. Um, and in relation to the ship, doesn't look too bulky and makes for a really nice ship. And all in all, I feel like the ship has a decent amount of detail, uh, considering that they are, you know, it's a, it's a smaller set and there are very uh, minimal amounts of pieces included now as most microfighters go i feel like they do a pretty good job of depicting the ships that they are supposed to depict with a very minimal amount of ships now it's not like a micro build or anything like that um it is large enough to really get the picture 
but uh, it is an awesome little build considering most people may just get this for the pieces and of course for a the cheapest option for a Din Djarin minifig. So it's always really nice when they include a really awesome looking minifig like Din Djarin from season two, but also included in your money's worth is a really awesome and fairly detailed build for a minimal amount of bricks. All in all, I feel like this Micro Fighter Razor Crest is quite a fun build, super simple, and it is really nice that they do include these new stud shooters in here. So as far as price effectiveness to get a bunch uh, or to get a couple of these stud shooters, a really beautiful minifigure, I think it's a pretty fair price. Of course, there are a lot of people that would complain that, oh, here we go, another Star Wars ship with a lot of gray. But, uh, of course, it is the Razor Crest. Although it doesn't exist in the Mandalorian universe right now, I still really uh, enjoy the look of this ship with the parts that were used. So I would definitely recommend this for any Mandalorian fan, especially one that doesn't happen to have a Din Djarin minifig, although it's pretty hard if you haven't picked up any Mandalorian sets, I would definitely pick uh pick up this uh pick this guy up. So with that, thank you so much for joining us here at the Between the Bricks YouTube channel and joining me in the review of the Razor Crest. If you did enjoy this particular video and enjoy the content here, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And of course, ring the notification bell there so that you can get notified when new videos do come out. Uh, if you do want to catch me build sets like this live on stream, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash panfrednoodle. The link should be down at the bottom in the description. And I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. So with that, thanks again for joining us and have a good one. This is the way.